painting's always been a part of who I am. I mean, I've been painting since I was a little kid. It's always been a, a place of escape and a place of refuge. I love it. That's where I feel the best is when I'm, when I'm making art. I'm always writing ideas down for uh, like a theme for a painting. And then I'll take the theme and I'll start exploring uh, maybe like little sketches of what I'm going to do. And then I'll know what, kind of what I want to do when I get to the canvas. April 19th, 2018, I had a colonoscopy and our surgeon came and basically said that they'd found uh, cancer. It was a huge shock and life changed completely. I needed a CT scan and then they came back and said that the cancer was in my lymph nodes, on my liver and uh, all over the place and that uh, I probably only had about nine months to live. And I started doing these five by five or four by four uh, little paintings and things that uh, I could work on while I was doing chemo, while I was in the hospital. It was like a mobile thing I could do. And then I load up my uh, Instagram account just with art every day. And then once it caught on and people started to realize I was doing it every day, my Instagram account started to get uh, more of a following. And I started connecting with other people that had cancer and artists that were going through stuff. And then, you know, my little world became a lot bigger felt pretty great. Some of the pieces that were hard for him to do and were dark and spoke about his cancer and dark days, often those pieces even have joyful color. You know, I'd apply humor to it and sometimes I would apply, um, you know, exactly with the way I was feeling. Like if I was having a really bad day, sometimes I would make a, a chunk art that reflected that. My colon surgeon in Calgary ordered a PET scan and then the liver guy looked at what was happening uh, with the progress was good. The uh, cancers were shrinking on the liver and he decided to do surgery. The surgeon gave us the feeling that, oh, well, there would probably be chemo. And then after that, uh, a certain time of knowing that there was no more cancer in your body, it would be reconnection and then life would be normal. And that's what we looked forward to. Uh, but it didn't turn out that way. I came out with infections and ended up in a coma for three weeks and then 21 weeks in hospital recovering from the coma. And then when I got out, I was out maybe, I don't know, two weeks, they tell me that the cancer is back on my liver. Once Troy started painting again in hospital, to me that was a huge sign of recovery. Um, not only showing that he hadn't lost any of his ability, but also proving that he had the drive to get better. I think once I got sick, it's like I wanted to do some things. I wanted to, you know, make some recordings for sure. Wanted to leave some recordings. I wanted to make sure I had a body of art maybe and a book or two. Well, I've known Troy since I, I moved to, to Fernie almost 25 years ago. One day we were sitting at his hospital bed and just chatting uh, about the works and I can't remember exactly how it uh, transpired, but uh, he, he put out the idea, you know, do you think I can make a book of this? And I said, yeah, absolutely. That's been the goal my whole life anyway, so it wasn't like, you know, oh, we're going to do this now. I was like, it's just, okay, we're going to do this now. We're going to do it all now. <laughs> to see these wonderful little um, encapsulations uh, of a day, of a time, of a moment, um, was really fascinating. The paintings tell a story um, in chronological order, and each painting is going to be accompanied by the story behind that painting. This experience has made us closer. We can talk about anything, and we will, and we know that we deeply love one another. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for my wife. She continues to help me get well and, uh, and go through this together. She's my rock, she's everything. Every day is sacred.